good habits are formed, practiced, and handed down to younger generations by parents and friends. But perhaps you weren't taught these good habits, or you've slackened your adherence to them. Here's a reminder of several, starting with a famous one in a speech by Admiral William McRaven. Make your bed. It's a small habit, but one that shows a routine. A habit, a small discipline, won't change the world, but you'll remember it when you return that night to a neat, calm bed. Don't litter. We've all cleaned up after others, but why is this not a habit of many? If you miss the can, get up and pick it up. Your mess should not become someone else's mess. Bust your own table at a fast food place. Yes, others will do it, but why? Most of us are not royalty. Put the grocery cart where it belongs after using it. Think about the eight to 10 seconds you'll spend doing the right thing. Small gestures and habits matter for your fellow humans. Clean up after your dog. No, others may not have seen it, but pick it up. Put your chewed gum in a piece of paper and put it in the trash can. Cities spend the summers taking thousands of dollars removing gum off sidewalks. Now, park in one parking place. Yes, if you take up two, your car may not be dinged, but conversely, it may attract attention to that car and particularly to your poor parking habits. If you have a license, you learn to drive and to park properly. If you are handicapped, please park in the handicapped place put there for your ease and convenience. But if you have a disabled tag used by a family member, please do not use the disabled parking spot if they are not with you and you are not disabled. Obtaining that parking pass is a terrible stage for many, including my late mother. Finally, don't be the rude person. Rude has no place. Voice dissatisfaction with specificity rather than name calling. Labels are another rude effort that shuts down congenial conversation. Listen, practice what you learned in kindergarten, be kind, and have courage to do the right thing and model it for others. The world needs you.